So I'd like to know uh, Go ahead. where you are on planning for the second session, uh, the budget session that everybody kind of was expecting this was going to be the first uh, I, uh, I was asked that yesterday by Channel 2. This is my situation. I got so many games I got to play. I am not thinking about the next game. Do you understand what I'm saying? I am not thinking about it. I am thinking about this moment at this time. And I mean it. I sincerely mean it. I know another session's coming, but I'd like to get through this one halfway successfully. So I am not planning. We've already actually planned for that one without knowing it. We've done a lot more work there than anything else. And we got to go back and do more. But I'm not thinking about that right now. I'm telling you, all I'm thinking about is this session, June session, 2020. So, um, yes, I, I would say 95% of my my breath right now is making sure we get through the session. I will say, though, just for those watching, that if you recall from the emergency board we had a couple weeks ago, we set aside uh, figuring out how to spend some of the coronavirus relief fund dollars for additional business assistance and economic uh, assistance for different sectors. Uh, legislators came together um, and came up with a proposal. I'm, I actually don't know if it's in my inbox. I'm hoping it is. We might have an emergency board as early as the beginning of next week to release that business support money if, if, it, if we can pull it off. Uh, and then we're into the July 4th holiday. I know Senate President and I both have some small vacation plans. Um, and then by the end of the month, we do need to be back on the budget. The one thing that I'm hoping we can see by July 1 is a public commitment on what we're doing around our K-12 budget. From the legislative standpoint from the House, between me and Co-Chair Rayfield, we are very interested in fully funding our state school fund for the second half of the biennium. We're interested in protecting in to degree possible the Student Success Act uh, investments related to the corporate activities tax, including early childhood, statewide initiatives, and some portion of the student investment accounts that are the more discretionary dollars for districts. We know, for example, that districts are gonna need that additional money for social and emotional supports for their students as they come in in this uh, upcoming school year. And lastly, I feel strongly that we can tap uh, up to 400 million of our educational stability fund to make all that happen. Now, we're gonna have a very difficult budget for the next two year budget, but our students need stability and certainty for the rest of this biennium for the next coming school year. And I'm hoping we can get that cleared up soon publicly because school districts have to commit their budgets by July 1. So that might happen. We'll see. The special session is taking up a lot of time, but those are the kind of things that are on the next horizon for the legislature. I thought we agreed to $9 billion. We sent a letter out to that, Madam Speaker. We yes, we $9 billion in the state school fund would be our goal, tapping the, the educational stability fund and also protecting a good chunk of the Student Success Act that was passed last year.